Okay, this is the post-game press conference for the Salisbury Seagulls, game one of the Salisbury Super Regional. Seagulls defeated Worcester 8-6. In the middle we have the head coach Troy Brohan. To the left is Luke Waddell, the third baseman. And to the right, the winning pitcher, uh, reliever, Brandon Epstein. So, uh, Coach Brohan, if you want to give an opening statement. Uh, yeah, you know, I thought the guys responded well to some adversity late in the game. Um, you know, I told him after the game, I thought we played really poorly offensively um, as far as getting pitches to hit and, and, and putting barrel to the ball, especially I think we ended up leaving 12 guys on base. Um, so we have to do a better job of that. And then I'm not used to seeing a 61 lead evaporate with the type of guys we have. And uh, we just didn't make very good pitches in those situations. Um, but, you know, uh, Wooster tied it and uh, Epi came in there and then held him there and gave us a chance. And we were able to put two on the board in the ninth. And... Uh, he was able to, to finish and close the door there in the ninth. So, um, you know, I didn't think we played the best, um, and it's always good to get a W uh, even when you don't play your best, I think. Going back to the unfamiliarity of, uh, unfamiliarity of seeing a 6-1 lead uh, disappear, what did you say to your team after the seventh inning when uh, the game got tied 6-6? Uh, just that we're right where we want to be. I mean, you know, we have a pitching staff that's going to hold them there. Um, we have guys that can execute. I mean, you look at that last inning, it was a, it was a big uh, knock by Luke Waddell, uh, then a first and third bump by Cam Hyder. Um, we just, you know, stayed the process of what we've done all year long. Um, and, and we put a couple better at-bats together there, I think, in the ninth than we did early. And like I said, leaving 12 runners in in, in a game like this, you, you even though you're up 6-1, to one, you could easily have been up 10-1, to one, um, and then you give up 2, 3, 4, it doesn't really matter. Um, but give Wooster credit, they didn't, uh, they didn't give up, and uh, they battled back, and uh, uh, they have a really good ball club. Uh, Luke, you were the man of the hour in the top of the ninth inning with the uh, go-ahead RBI single. What were you looking for in that bat, and what would you end up getting? Um, I was looking for a fastball, and I was just really trying to focus on getting my timing down, and luckily I got one and put a good swing on it, and good things happened. Good things happened, and your timing seemed to be good, uh, both at the plate and in the field today. You had quite a few short hops that you were able to make. Um, right straight up, how are you able to uh, manage those short hops and make the play almost every time? Um, just getting a good read on it and kind of working through the ball, um, like Coach Cyrus teaches us, and then you know trying to stay balanced and make a good throw. Now, uh, this has been your time of the year the last couple of seasons. You were uh, most uh, the all-tournament team last year at uh, Cedar Rapids. So what is it about playing uh, this time of year that may amp a lot of other guys up, but for you, you just stay the course? Um, it's just exciting, bigger games, um, bigger moments, and it's more fun. So, you know, you play a little looser when you're having more fun, so. Uh, Brandon, uh, two perfect innings there, four strikeouts, six up and six down. Uh, what all was working for you today? Um, definitely my fastball. I was locating my fastball really well. Um, off speed wasn't too great. Uh, usually it's been pretty good recently. Um, today I just couldn't get that much of a feel for it, so I just worked with my fastball, trusted my fastball, and uh, in the end hit my spots. How much did those uh, couple of games against Denison on Monday, the really close ones, uh, come into play knowing, uh, okay, it's a close game, but uh, we've done this before? Yeah, uh, like you said, we've done this before. Um, I just, when I was going out there, I, I had so much trust in my fielders. Uh, behind me, and then like in the Denison game, you know, defense, defense and pitching won that game, um, and that's what we've been doing all year. Uh, so, like, I've I've always had confidence in my uh, fielders, and then along with my other pitching staff uh, members. Um, so yeah, just going out there, throwing strikes, letting the ball hit the bat. And the crowd was certainly behind you as well. A good crowd on both sides today. And what was it like pitching in the bottom of the ninth with close to 300 people there yelling and screaming? Uh, that's a pretty cool feeling, you know, when uh, I got 0-2 for that last kid, um, everybody kind of stood up and I kind of took it all in for a second and then got locked back in and was able to hit my spot with my fastball and uh, it was pretty cool. You know. uh, open the floor. Luke, you've been, I don't know if you guys are a stats like team player, like looking through the stats, but Luke, you've been leading the team in walks this postseason with, including today's game, eight walks. Is, What's been changing in the play for this postseason compared to the regular season? I'm um, just trying to stay more patient. I feel like I was, especially the beginning of the year, I was chasing a lot and getting myself out. So just trying to put swings on good pitches and let the other ones go.
that's it for the press conference. Uh, thanks, everybody. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.